Hi, this is Gail with Bernina of Naperville and welcome to the latest installment of our Rainbow Rainforest. We've got an exciting one today. It might be the queen or the king of the rainforest because it is the Jaguar. Now, not only is a Jaguar a luxury car <laughs> that you all might know and love, but it is also an inhabitant of the rainforest. Now, some fun facts about jaguars are, first of all, they have the most penetrating bite of any cat in the kingdom. They also have, um, sometimes they're mistaken for leopards, but their spots are more like the ones on my shirt rather than the leopard, which has more solid-like dots. So, you know, if you're ever, you know, like out in the desert of Africa and you think you see a jaguar, you probably not have seen one, you've actually seen a leopard, but okay. So some other things about them, surprisingly, they love the water and they dwell and thrive in damp places. Now, the king or the queen of the rainforest must have absolutely no threats to them, right? No, you know what their threats are? A shrinking habitat and overhunting. So let's respect these creatures by commemorating them in our quilt. So here are our beautiful fabrics for our Jaguar for this month's lesson. And these two are gonna be for a leaf and these two pairs are for a leaf. And of course the pattern is gonna give you the information that you need for the specific fabrics. But I wanna give you a disclaimer. I think I have used maybe the wrong fabrics in some of mine because remember I had that mishap with my car. So nonetheless, this is what I'm building my Jaguar with. And then we've got the cinnamon accent, the white and the nose and everything is gonna be out of that. And then of course our same background fabric. So now it's just time to magically cut everything according to the instructions. Okay, just like every month when we do this, it's all about labeling. So here's my little tray of my Jaguar fabric. Now, I also recommend that for your pieces, you're always gonna start with your leaf material. And you can see here that I've got my leaf stuff labeled. I have, these are my little bits here. These are the um, C, D, and E pieces for the leaf. And then these are my little units that I have here together. Now we're lucky this time because we only have an RS1 and RP1 and LS2 and LP2. There are no LS1s or LP1s or R. S2s and RP2s. It'll make sense. And this, of course, every month we do this, we have a handout and we have a handout in the description of this video that will spell out some of the little tricks and tips that I use when I start kind of gathering and labeling my pieces. So I'm just going to go ahead and start by sewing these little pieces that are in here together. And I'm going to chain piece these. Okay, so obviously any time that we're making our Rainbow Rainforest characters, it always starts with the leaves. And I finished mine, and just as a reminder, even though they are pieced, I still keep the labels on them. So once the leaves are all constructed, we're going to move on to the Jaguar face where we're going to make the ears first, then we're going to make the face or the eyes, and then the little snout and move on and move on and move on. So I'm going to be giving you some tips, not so much about the sewing, but what they should measure as we go along. So a little bit of advice is I always like to make sure that I sort of measure as I go, especially when there are little seams like this. And you can also see that I press my seams open and that just helps like eliminate some of the bulk. And then another visitation here is we have like a little half square triangle we've created, but it's got a seam down here. But just to make sure I can keep everything fairly consistent, 
I have just trimmed my unit piece here and left the backing. So this remains two and a half inches by six inches for the ears. And then this is six inches by four inches, this unit. And I have broken down what these units are measuring in the handout for this class. So hopefully that will help give you some guidelines as well. So I'm just gonna continue with the piecing of my Jaguar and I'm gonna just make sure I sort of measure as I go because unlike some of the other pieces from um, last month's blocks is there are a lot of little tiny pieces here and then the linen which can be a little bit wiggly. Oh, look at that cute little Jaguar head. So he or she, is it a he or she? What do you think this is? I don't know, but it's certainly cute. So it's six by nine and a half now. And so now we just keep building. Now after the head comes the body and there's nothing special here other than I wanna show you a little bit of how I press. So sometimes I press some seams open to eliminate the bulk and everything. However, there were a lot of seams and stuff here. So I opted to just press to the linen background piece here. Remember my sad little pattern here? Well, I had to tape it together because it was falling apart. You know, things that fall out of a moving car and get run over by a Mack truck, they fall apart. But, so I make little notes as you can see here, and that's why you should be excited to get the handout because you don't have to see the my crazy writings there. But what I want to tell you is um, be mindful that all of the instructions aren't here, when you flip from page 47, it, or, um, sorry, when you flip from page 26 there, it'll take you to, ooh, I'm really excited to do the armadillo next time, but squirrel, squirrel, never mind. Okay, so if we go over here to page 48, that's where the rest of our instructions for our Jaguar remain. And so the next thing is we're going to make the tail. Then we get to make more units with spots. So you're going to leave these pieces not lined up together just like this. And you're going to make a unit like this with the leaves. But then you're going to take that unit and put it down here and go corner to corner. So I'm just going to take a little minute to do my sewing of all of these things here. But then when we get to this stage right here, I'm gonna show you the sewing. Drew a line from corner to corner. And you know, the reason why you're not piecing a bunch of stuff here is just it's simply not needed. There's our little friend. I'm not sure he's a friend. He eats a lot of our other friends on this quilt. But I give you the Jaguar. All right, so we have another one under our belts. That's so exciting. And you know, I have to tell you, I forgot to tell you why the Jaguar is so far away from the capybara in our quilt layout. That's because jaguars eat capybara, and I could barely say that when we started, you know, this block, but now, I mean, it, it's all part of the circle of life. So next week, we are gonna do one of the most fascinating critters in the animal kingdom, if you ask me. It is an armadillo, and you know, I am gonna do some research. I don't really know anything about them, except the fact that when they're scared, they like curl up in a little ball. I, I would not have, I haven't, I, I don't, I wouldn't know anybody that's like that, right? <laughs> All right, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you're keeping up with your blocks because we have five more to go. All right, thanks so much for watching. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, don't forget to check out our Bernina of Naperville YouTube channel. It's easy. It's youtube.com slash Bernina of Naperville. And there you can like, comment, and subscribe.